Turn five movement. Typhoon land speeder turbo boosted over there. And my one still moving rhino just moved over six inches. And there will be no shooting. <laughs> yeah, assault. Good lord. Or uh, we'll do take out the um, one of the models. He passes. We do a leadership check. One dice each. So there's a 10. Passes. So the model he's base with, the flamer, will be out of combat. He will not be allowed to attack. Alright. Grimlock's attacks. Only two hits. And he will wound two times. One, two, three juice to lose. Any four? Poison? So only one wound and it's an insta death. Okay, so two saves and one insta death? One save and one death. So, a regular guy is dead. And then just a regular guy takes a save. Passes. My turn? Yep. Flammer cannot attack, you said? Correct. So, two green ones at the start turn again. Yeah. Uh, three miss. Three miss. Four one. Again, the star gun is blue. Or green. you know, is a history buff. Landspeeder is about to do Custer's last stand as every Termagant um, has surrounded him with the Tiveragon. The Venom Thorpe has moved up next to the Trinofex. The Queen has moved closer to the Rhino. I'll try to get with that. 
or the termagants, the remem remnants of that have moved to the woods, and the hormigant moved over from the last insulting combat. So, I'm going to start with the tyrannifix on the back of the rhino. Both missed. So, no extra shots from that. The queen is going to do psychic scream. Passes. It's in range of the Death Spectre Tactical Squad, so they'll make a leadership check. Out of a nine. They pass, so no effect. And we're going into shots. Birch Bass and Termagon send the lance here. Three sixes. Not a one. We get two effects. Get a immobilize. It went flat out, so it is a wreck. Line speed's out of play. Assaults. Good Lord again. We'll put his Marines out of play. He gets perils. So he takes another wound, but he has half. And then we roll off, which he will automatically succeed because he's a leadership 11 on that. I mean, we should 10, 16, so he can't, he can't be the matchup. All right, so good enough to make his attack. All of them hit. He does three rending kills and wounds one on his own. Last gene stealer. He hits once. He also wounds. And then the Hormagon. Hits twice, two wounds on fours, one wound. So three dead, three wounds. That's the save. Regular guys. I'm good. So the slugs are going to hold them Two hits. Quite dead. Four regular guys. Two hits. One move. On the regular gene stick. He's dead. But he still lost by two to him. That vehicle moved, so she needs forces to hit. Two hits. 
16s penetrate, 19, uh, 15s penetrate, 2 penetrates, uh, weapon destroyed, cannot move or shoot, or cannot move. Just weapon destroyed, it can still move. It can still move? It can still move. And now we see if the game ends on a one two. The game ends. Um, it'll be a one nothing game. So we have the objective here, very well claimed with lots of Charmadons. What usually happens is Spectre Foreman, when I play him, the Charmadons are breeding all over my objective. He has a hard time moving them out. And we're contesting his objective on the other side over there. Good game. And that concludes Spectre Studios' first battle report. Uh, we're open to any comments to basically to help us get a little better. Um, let us know what you like to see, if there's too much of something and you like less of something else, um, or you want more of something that we we're really not doing, post comments below. If you like everything, hit the likes. Let us know what we can do to kind of really improve our battle reports. We plan on doing quite a bit, um, trying to line up some other gamers um, from our uh, gaming area, and hopefully we'll be able to show you a lot of different tactics, a lot of good army builds, and uh, keep things interesting. All right, thanks a lot, and uh, we'll see you next battle report.